Good day folks, Boda Bob here. And today we're not working on a Kubota, we're working on an international harvester. This is my father's tractor. What's your tractor's name, Dad? Hank. Hank. This is Hank. How long you had Hank? I've had Hank probably 30 years. 30 years. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, that's longer than you've had me. <laughs> Well, that's pretty good. So what's the problem, Dad? What's the problem with Hank? I don't know. I wish I knew. He won't wake up. So about 10 days ago, we uh, put a new starter on there and still couldn't get it to start. So I got a few more parts, a new battery. The battery's charged. And we're going to see if we can get Hank to come to life. Wake up, Hank. Let's grab that battery, Dad, and put the battery in the battery box. One thing that we found with uh, this old International Harvester Cub is that it has a positive ground. So you got to connect the positive post to the to the wire that runs to the chassis. Let's disconnect this. I want you to pull the starter. Pull the starter. And nothing. Push it in. So what should happen when you close, when you pull that starter, that should tell me, you know, it should go like that. It should close the circuit. Or something. But there's no there's no continuity there. So we either we got a bad switch because I've eliminated everything. Only thing we got is between here and here. So um, we got a bad switch. So looks like we got a bad switch. I have a switch in the um, parts bin here, and we're going to swap that out. We have to remove. The wires. Let's take a picture of it. I'll take a picture and show you what it looks like. So there's two bolts holding the uh, starter on. There's a bolt for the ground wire, or not the pause. Yeah, it's the negative side. This is everything's reversed on this. So if I wasn't confused before, I am now. Well, it's a good thing for bad luck, or else we'd have no luck at all. Now what these holes are for? I think that was for the turbo. Yeah, Bobby McIntosh took it down and put that step on for me. Yeah, we'll show that in the video here in a little bit. And uh, he said he had a dozen people down there wanting to buy it. <laughs> there we go. It's out. All right, folks, here we go. This is the uh, starter. It's a new starter. The old starter's over there. Who knows? It might not have been bad. We might have just had a bad switch. We'll find out. Well, we ain't putting the old starter back in, that's for sure. All right, folks, um, we had a uh, cotter pin that got, it's been in there for a long time, so it's rusted in place. Um, we got the pin out. We're going to take it up to my dad's shop and try to drive the cotter pin out of the pin. So we'll be back. What I want you to do. Move that, push that down. See how that went? So that should work. All right, this is a pretty simple circuit. What I found out is what happens is there's a rod that you pull 
and when you pull that rod it pushes this down and that closes the circuit and what I found out is that when I put the uh, ohm meter onto the chassis and the other end here on the old switch when we closed it it wasn't closing the circuit so after I replaced the switch uh, we now get a closed circuit whenever that that is pushed down. I think they got it long enough, Dad. It's bolts plenty long enough here. Huh? The bolt is long enough. Oh. <laughs> hey, you, I want to show you something. Can you go down and bring the electricity up? Um, put your extension cord out. I want to show you how this charger works. So we're going to head down to the house. We're going to let this battery charge up for about an hour. And then we're going to come back and try to start it. The starter's turning over, it's just uh, not enough juice in the battery. Let's see what happens. All right, we uh, left the battery charged for an hour, and we're going to jump on there and see if it'll start. Dad, you want to try starting it? like Hank's uh, running again. Let's see this tractor in action. Okay, go ahead and take it for a ride. Third gear there, put, pick up some speed. <laughs> you were moving pretty good. That's only, I don't even, that ain't even half open. When Bobby McIntosh took it down, I told him to, <clears throat> when he got down there on 30, put it in third gear and open her up. He said, that thing will fly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it'll do pretty good. So what do you use your tractor for? Hauling logs. Hauling logs. Fire. Wrap my ground logs. Catch up some logs. Take them all out of the So this is your power takeoff right here. This is the power takeoff. It's the PTO. This had a mower deck on it when he bought it, and he didn't need the mower deck. And tr riding through the woods, the mountain here, uh, he took the mower deck off to have better clearance. So it does have a PTO. 
and this raises and lowers with a lever up there. I guess this thing here. Yeah. <clears throat> and then the other one, see, what's this for? That's the gas. Yeah. This one, what's yeah. this for? That's this is up. Oh, and this is the PTO. Yeah, well, that puts it in the gear to do it. I don't know what, you can take it out. Oh, okay. And you won't, you know, it won't do nothing. Right. Oh, it's so complicated. Well, I want to show you all something. As my dad's gotten a little older, as we all are, he started having problems climbing up and climbing on to the old cub tractor. So one of uh, our neighbors oh lighting sucks I hate this tripod hard to see I'll take some pictures so <laughs> Getting up and on to this tractor, even at my age of 59, okay, wasn't sure. easy. And Dad's uh, 81 years old. So getting up and getting on there without a step was challenge, becoming challenging. So one of our neighbors made him a step. Very well made. I think you ought to market those things, but don't know how many uh, Cub Cadets are around. But anyhow, it works really well. See, this is the way you have It's a good idea. Have to go up here and prepare up. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't do it today if I had to. <laughs> Replace the starter, the switch, and the battery. Got a good charge on the battery and... Old Hank is back in business. You professionals out there, you know what to do. Smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below, share this video with a friend. Hey, if you got Facebook, put a link in your uh, Facebook page. Ask your friends to take a look at this video. I'd greatly appreciate that. And if you know anyone that has an international harvester, Cub, there's a good way to make a step to get on and off a lot easier as you get older. Without any further ado, enjoy the journey. Cheers.